What's going on everybody? We're here in Sofia, Bulgaria, and I just wanted to do a little bit of a different vlog for you today. You know, usually it's kind of about what I'm up to, and in a lot of cases it's me talking. Um, today I'm documenting a really important moment, the first legal incubator launch here in Bulgaria, in the Balkans in fact. You know how much Fred Rooney means to me if you follow any of my content. I believe in him, I believe in the mission. And we got to meet a lot of his partners here with Fulbright, um, Open Society Foundation, TSA, a lot of amazing organizations and, and partners here in Bulgaria doing great work around entrepreneurship, around social justice, around different issues that are really, really important, in this case, access to justice. Um, so we're gonna make a really cool little two, three minute video kind of summarizing the event and what it means and what it represents. A little different vlog style, hope you enjoy it. Uh, from here in Eastern Europe, wherever you're watching, thanks for being here. It's a particularly great day for us in, in Sofia because today we are formally launching the first incubator in the Balkans. Uh, an incubator, for those of you who don't know, is, is really a training program designed to help new law students, and, and in this case here in Bulgaria, law students develop the professional skills that they're going to eventually need uh, when they create small law firms in underserved parts of the city. Uh, we're really hoping to target uh, people with moderate to low income who ordinarily would not have access to competent and affordable representation. Uh, in, in, I'd like to give special thanks to, first of all, the Fulbright Foundation in Bulgaria for allowing me to come and, 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 and meet the stakeholders and, and develop an, uh, a plan for Bulgaria, and in particular, the Equal Opportunities Initiative Association, the host organization that brought me to Bulgaria and is going to be the home for the, the new legal incubator. And then, of course, the Trust for Social Achievement has provided funding for this pilot project. And lastly, the Open Society Foundation has been with us every inch of the way, both in the United States and here in, in Europe and in different parts of the world. So working together, we have created a model that, that we hope will be successful and, and certainly hope can, that can be replicated in different parts of Bulgaria. Because people in Bulgaria, just like in the United States and across the, the world, have very little access to justice because they simply can't afford it. And by creating a core of young, competent, and very compassionate uh, young lawyers, we hope to be able to fill that gap. I've been working with the Roma community in Bulgaria for 20 years. When I first heard about the legal incubator, I got really excited because it addresses so many needs on different levels. In the first place, it addresses the uh, lack of access to legal services that many impoverished families face, particularly in Bulgaria. In the second place, we're mentoring and encouraging successful Roma students who've studied law and connecting them with professionals so that they can deepen their skills. In the third place, and which I think is really important, is it's quite sustainable because it, it's looking at the business practice as, a, as an entrepreneur would and helping young people get the skills they need to, to make money and to, to make a practice that can sustain them in the future as legal professionals. I am really excited with the idea because uh, uh, it is something that uh, will give uh, uh, young people opportunity to start their professional life uh, more easily uh, than uh, they um, uh, thought. Uh, uh, and uh, on the other side, uh, um, uh, I hope that uh, uh, we'll prepare a group of people um, loving um, um, social justice, which is uh, something rare in um, our days, uh, especially in the legal profession. Um, so I am really excited. Um, I'm not ashamed to say that uh, uh, once or twice I almost cried <laughs> um, while we were uh, doing the uh, opening event. It was very moving.